Hello everyone and welcome to 10 Minutes Yoga. My name is Natasha and thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to teach you a beautiful yoga sequence which could be practiced straight away after your periods. This class will help you to balance your estrogen level, will help you to regulate the fluctuation of your mind after those seven days of a period, and more than anything, this class will help you to tone and at the same time to relax your abdominal region in order to go back to a normal yoga practice. So for today's session, you would need two blocks. I don't mind you using a bolster and just your mat. So let's begin. Let's begin our yoga session on our knees, please. Grab your two blocks or your bolster. I'll be using my two blocks today. Sit into Vajrasana, keep both of your big toes together, spread slightly your knees apart, grab your two blocks and place them just in the front of you, one arm distance. Take a nice inhale and then exhale, lean forward. Bring the blocks slightly closer to you if you need in order to place your elbows parallel to your shoulders and your chest on the top. Bring your forehead on the top of your arms. Keep on pushing your buttocks towards the floor and make sure your arms are straight forward in order to create a slight, slight stretch and slight tension on the side of your body. Do not force too much onto your stomach neither to leave it in the space, just let it be slightly in and just observe your breathing. Stay here for three breaths. One, close your eyes. Two, keep breathe through your nose. And three, take a nice inhale, slightly and gently open your eyes. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And then exhale. Release. Adho Place your blocks shoulder width apart just in the front of you. Place your palms on the top. Inhale, exhale on your knees, tilt your toes into the floor and press on your arms. Step slightly back in order to create a 45 degree angle into your body. Stretch your fingers forward and bring your head slightly down. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Immediately push your shoulders away from your ears. Close your eyes and tend to bring your knee, your heels towards the floor. One, keep breathing. Two, push your shoulders away from your ears. Three, take a nice inhale, exhale, open your eyes. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees on the ground, sit onto your heels, extend your arms forward and your forehead on the ground. Make sure your ribs are touching your thighs, press your buttocks towards your heels. Keep your eyes closed. One, two, stretch your fingers actively and three. Slightly and gently open your eyes. Take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up. And then exhale, release your arms down and just relax. Open your eyes and stand on your feet. Bring your blocks up in a long way size. Bring your feet together, toes together. Let's go into Parshvottanasana. Bring your right leg forward just between the block. Bring your left one back. Make sure both of your heels are aligned. Keep your left foot slightly 45 degrees out. Engage both of your hips. Forward, shoulders aligned within your hips. Take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up and then exhale, lean slightly forward. Make sure your blocks are shoulder width apart. Engage your fingers up, roll your shoulders back, bring your chin up, close your eyes in order to relax your face. Just breathe 
and push. Tend to push your left hip in and engage your right knee. One, two, keep breathing, and three. Take a nice inhale, exhale, tilt your head down, stretch your arms forward, inhale, and then exhale, release your palms down. Bring your left foot forward and right foot back. Make sure your right and your left heel are in one line. Push your right foot 45 degrees out. Engage both of your hips forward, shoulders and hips aligned. Take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up and then exhale, lean forward. Keep your left knee straight. Place your palms on the block. Roll your shoulders back. Take a nice inhale, look up. Push your right hip in and your shoulders back. One, close your eyes. Two, chin away from your chest, lean your body forward, and three, take a nice inhale, exhale, open your eyes, drop your head down, take a nice inhale, stretch both of your arms up, keep your right hip in, and then exhale, release, and bring your right leg forward, and just relax. Slightly and gently, open your eyes. Step slightly back. Open your feet, hips width apart into Uttanasana. Place one block halfway through and the other one on the long, tall waist size. Just open your feet, hips width apart, big toes slightly in. Take a nice inhale, stretch your arms up and then exhale, let's lean forward into Uttanasana. Place your forehead on the top of the block or the crown of your head on the block. Grab the back of your heels with your palms, roll your shoulders back, don't pull your stomach in, just stay under control. Close your eyes. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. One. Two. If you feel flexible enough, you can put your block halfway through down and drop your head down. Three. Open your elbows. Four. Bend slightly your knees if you need. And five. Take a nice inhale. Head up. Exhale, stretch both of your arms up, knee straight, inhale, and then exhale, and relax. Slightly and gently open your eyes. Prasarita Padottanasana, grab both of your blocks, and in the front of your mat, open your feet, three and a half feet apart, as wide as you can. Make sure to bring your big toes in. Place the blocks in the front of you, shoulder width apart, probably one feet away from your body. Take a nice inhale, stretch your arms up, engage slightly your stomach, knees straight, big toes in. And then exhale, place your palms in the front of you. Just make sure to move your blocks as close as possible and as needed under your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back, engage your knees and push, push your buttocks back. Chin slightly up, close your eyes and simply breathe. So make sure to press on your heels in order to activate and engage your lower back. One, shoulders back. Two, Keep breathing, and three. Take a nice inhale, exhale, drop your head down. Stretch your arms forward, inhale, and then exhale. And go back to Samasthiti, and relax. Uttanasana. Grab one block, and place that block up between your thighs. Spread slightly your feet apart. Make sure they are parallel to each other. Squeeze and engage your pelvic floor slightly forward in order to create and having this slight pressure between your thighs and the block. Take a nice inhale, stretch your arms up and then exhale, lean forward. 
Grab both of your elbows and with a nice exhalation, bend slightly your knees if you need and drop your head down between your elbows. Close your eyes and just breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. Slightly and gently release your arms, open your eyes. Inhale, knees straight, stretch your arms up, engage your pelvic floor, and then exhale, release your arms, grab the block into your hands, and simply relax. And lay down into Shavasana. I would recommend you to use both of your blocks or two bolsters for your Shavasana, which is going to be into Baddha Konasana. I would recommend you to bend both of your knees, engage your lower back on the floor. Take a nice inhale and exhale, open your knees and bring the blocks under your thighs. So make sure your big toes are touching, knees are spread apart, roll your shoulders back and bring your blocks as close as you need it in order to avoid any extra stretch into your pelvic floor. Just a slight and comfortable position here. Engage your chin slightly in, close your eyes, and simply begin by observing your breathing. Whenever you inhale, your belly become big. And whenever you exhale, your belly becomes small, small, and tiny. Inhale, big belly. And then exhale, small, small, and tiny. I would recommend you to stay here between five to 10 minutes and to join the second part of this sequence in the next video. I wish you a beautiful day and I'll see you next time on the mat.